This is going on YouTube. Hacking heck, man. That feels good. I'm a solo reaper. Where's that galleon? Parked at a nearby fort of fortune only to attract enemies. And I see approaching an emissary galleon from a distance. A slow circular path around the fort means they are sending someone. See that? And that's why you use your ears for distant cannon shots. Okay, no, that's more than one. I'm a bit in a dangerous position, but... They want to anchor me, then bring the ship here. Oh, they went there, so they did send tuckers. Okay, that's good. Now I know players are coming, and pretending you do not know, it is the best form of victory against tuckers. Just don't send me kegs. But first, I had to get rid of nearby kegs in case they had other plans. Also, checking the towers within range. If the skeleton is not shooting at you, and he's present at the cannon, that means you are in a safe spot. Come on, go, go, go attack on my ship, man. And then, I had the idea to look like a new player to drop their guard. Please don't kill me. He's behind me. I knew it. But they did have other plans. I knew it. Okay, you're supposed to talk. You're supposed to talk. You just ruined it. And you're gonna die. Now we know. They don't want to hide on my ship. They just want to get rid of me and complete the fort themselves. Is it you I'm looking for? I can see it in your blunder. Bah! No, not by. Hold on, hold on, hold on. With that, I got sudden help from Mr. Towerson at the fort, getting rid of my enemy. You've, you've, you've dialed game over, my friend. You've dialed game over. <laughs> Prediction, they're going to sink your ship and hijack the fort. Possible, very possible. I mean, they're four. You know, they don't look new. You know what's the most thing these ships hate? So, so, uh, do you guys know that heading head first into a bigger ship is not the right way to do it, right? Obviously, because sometimes, I told you last time, people, people saw this exact same scenario last time. Not last time, last time this happened when I was soloing. And uh, they were like, you're a reaper, go and fight him like a man. You mean go lose, right? That's how you lose, that's not how you, how you fight a ship. Okay, uh, epic. And now my plan starts forming. Twitch Fuzzy will explain. And now fill in the blanks where needed. So make sure to watch until the end, as this was my favorite adventure in my solo sloping career. There's a lot you can learn. Oh, someone almost crashed! They know that chain shots exist, right? I mean, if they're not someone that relies on that, well, that's good. So I'm gonna try and drain them. Strategy comes first. In every scenario, exposing your single mass ship against a fleet of cannonballs is never the right choice. That's how the game is designed. So we have to get creative and find ways around it. You can see me, right? I can see you too. How's it going, bro? And, ooh, that's London Snipe explains a lot. Okay, boarding them is not gonna be an option because that's like four guns. Yeah, basically what you can do with a situation like this is drop their morale. Now, it's much harder work for, for uh, galleons to, to like, maybe, maybe I'll, I'm not, I'm not planning to sink, but I'm gonna try as much as I make, uh, I can to, to, to win, you know, to sink them. Knowing the enemy is winning half the battle, as I do not know what they can do, but I'm fully aware of what they are not capable of. So I started exploiting that to my advantage. 
I killed one right in the face, man! Try and drop their morale. They saw getting angry. IQ starts fading away. Instinct starts kicking in. It causes tunnel vision. They stop paying attention to ladders. They stop paying attention to anything. Then that's when you get a keg. Or a cake or something. And you give them a warm hug. Because when they realize that we are four. And we can't take down a solo slooper. That really, really bothers them. Are they gonna outpoint me? Let's see. Learning that from strategy games, dropping the army's morale always dropped their stats and made them weaker. If you can't be as strong as them, make them as vulnerable as you. Okay. This is the psychology that never seems to fail against larger crews in Sea of Thieves. So you're going too fast, man. Your crew's not very efficient. Ah. Oh. Good one, bro. When a larger crew struggles to sink a small one, they start doubting their skill, causing their performance to drop. It never fails. Ever. Oh. Oh, you just told me that you were here and you missed. That's good. After they attempted to board, I got distracted defending my ship, putting me in their cannon range. This is a death sentence for my ship, and that's where you exploit the weak point. A bigger ship means faster. A smaller ship is more accessible to maneuver. So a sudden anchor turn gave me an exit. Emergency! They could have taken advantage of this moment to board, but this crew is losing it, getting less organized and running out of supplies. Bye! Good stuff. <laughs> it was the only way or I'll be done because bigger ships are faster. So I'm going to try something crazy. If we sink, it's it's for science. All right. It will be tough to cause enough cannon damage to sink them without boarding as a single player. So it was time to get a ship for hire, a skeleton ship. The thing is, Galleon, even if you drop my mast, you're always sailing at full speed. Which is gonna give me time to raise it again. Upon getting closer, the skeleton ship sailed away near the fort. This skeleton ship was here, right? And I wanted to hit it with a cannonball, then harpoon and attach to it. When you attach to it, they can't hit you with a cannonball. They're gonna hit the other ship. You know what I mean? So you basically aggro it on them. So my mansion plan did not work, but giving me an even more incredible opportunity. And try and do that. I set my ship away to head east against the wind, as far as possible from the skeleton ship. Then, taking advantage of skeleton ship AI and the way they work. I made them attack my enemy while keeping me at a distance. Knowing that the enemy galleon is already at a low point, my plan was to anchor them here. Ship. Ah. Uh, even though I failed my board, but the plan succeeded. As they fought the skeleton ship, I was stocking up while draining theirs, in case they survived the constant aimbot cannon shots from the skeleton ship. <laughs> uh, that. I get someone work for you. I just set my ship against the wind with a clear heading to stay safe and then I aggroed them from the tower 
The fact... See, when a ship is aggroed, it attacks the closest ship. How gorgeous is that? Oh, they're Athena. I didn't notice. This is how you weaken the enemy. And get a ship for hire. Think outside of the ship. You see how much supplies and pressure and everything we drain them with now just for this move? When you guys are watching, I always like to provide as much value as I can in terms of the sunk. Who sunk? Who sunk? <laughs> should, I, <laughs> should I get him this one too? Oh my god, it worked! They sunk! Holy heck! They're out of supplies! We succeeded! We sunk the galleon! Man, what an achievement! I'm so happy with this! They could have signed out or run out of supplies, scuttled to come back again. But nonetheless, this wrecked them. Wrecked R to the E to the C to the K, man! Did I just mess up English? There's the flag! What's up, man? Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. If you found any value in this video, do the clicky thing. That's a lot of cannonballs that went to waste. And if not, I'm still happy to share one of my favorite achievements in my solo career. Pause it here. Have a good day.